Um, this is the seeding portion of that plant that I was telling you about. If you look very closely, you can see it's actually glowing. On this particular plant, we used a massive amount of a product called GrowPal, which is 100 to 1 Ormus concentrate. That product is so powerful and so rich in Ormus, it's out of control. I mean, you can't keep it, or you have to, you have to be careful about where you leave it. <laughs> or weird stuff will happen. Like crystals will form and all of a sudden, then they'll go away. It'll cause reactions and stuff you have around it. You're like, oh, got to keep that away from it. All kinds of weird stuff goes around. It's 100 to 1 ocean concentrate. It's called GrowPal? GrowPal, yeah, great product. How do you spell that? Um, it's just G-R-O dash P-A-L. G-R-O dash P-A-L. Where can you get it? Um, it comes out of Ontario from my friend Ian Clark, a guy who lost 100 pounds in one year, totally loving what he was doing. Um, by eating raw food, super food, super herbs. By the way, everything I'm saying about food this whole weekend is all totally fun, totally easy. Anybody can do it. We're out of the denial game and the die it, because if you die it, you're soon going to be dead. dead right? We're on the live it now. We're, with, where's the mono? Let's have that. Right? Where's the action at? Let's, ha let's add that. Oh, we're going to add that. We're not going to be in this whole game of like, you mean I can't eat whatever? Because as soon as we get in that game, we're, we lost. Human psychology will be destroyed on that particular precipice. They're just, we're just going to jump off the cliff because it's like, you mean I can't have whatever it is, ice cream, this, that, the other thing. No, we evade that completely. What we say is, here, try, add this. You like chocolate? Here, try this one. Mm -hmm. People hate losing yeah, yeah. We, want at, we want flavor, we want texture, we want uniqueness, we want innovation, and because we're at this conference, we obviously want Ormus. <laughs> so how are we going to get that in the plant form? Well, this is what we do at my house. You can see all the herbs from the forest that we dry. Right here we have a lion's mane mushroom. Right there is Shaga. Shaga. Like, whoa, on that one. Big whoa. Shaga mushroom that grows on mostly on birch, it can grow on maple and pines, it can grow on a bunch of different things, is an endophytic mushroom. It works with the immune system of the forest, and it actually doesn't grow on dead trees, it only grows on living trees. And after about 15 years, a birch tree will begin to show that it has shaga in it, and the shaga will, it will show up, it will form a sclera, which is what these are. You break that off, I'll show you a video tomorrow of us doing that. These are reishi mushrooms. The mythology, lore, legends, and overall immune system power of reishi mushroom is beyond description. If you start researching it, you start looking into it, you will find out that reishi, if you, the more you take it, the better you feel. The longer you live, the more of a feeling of well-being that you have. It can be obtained for free in the forests of North America, and there is not one other person out there picking it. Shaga mushroom. I brought shaga mushroom from nothing in North America. Not one person knew about it. I went to every herbalist in Ontario, Canada. Do you know this mushroom? Because I knew about it from Siberia. We have a Siberian in the room right there. Right? Not quite. Well, <laughs> Russian. <laughs> you know, same thing. Yeah. 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 I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> um, I have a lot of friends, actually, who are Siberian, who you know made it to Hawaii. I'm just thinking, God, you're born in Siberia, you made it to Hawaii. Why? What kind of life is that? Uh, and people are complaining. Like it's not good enough. Uh, is it literally the same species as a reishi? Yes, it is. It nope, it's the exact identical species. Ganoderma, Ganoderma lucidum. This uh, reishi that I've seen that you know, the dragon herbs or something has a more brown. That, those are turned upside down. Has a brown color. Those are turned upside down. So I'll show you what they look like right side up. The way you know you got reishi. It has a completely smooth, let's see if we can spot one in here. Um, I put it in the other presentation, actually. Okay. It's in the other presentation. But you'll see it. You'll, when you have reishi, you know for sure you have it because it looks like it's lacquered bone. It looks like bone smooth. It's totally amazing. Why, let's talk about wild reishi compared to like log-grown stuff like by Dragon Herbs. There isn't a comparison. There's no comparison. Because when it has its natural thing going on, and it will naturally, I have seen this, to the point of being dumbfounded by it. Rishi will always grow on the tree that dies at the power spot. Wherever there's an energetic power spot, Rishi will be in the tree that dies there. Even if it doesn't normally grow in that kind of tree. Mm -hmm. That has educated me to the point where I'm like, this, no, it's not a coincidence. Yeah. It, what, the, the mystery and legends and lore about Rishi it stacks up. And what it's doing is it's concentrating what? Oh. Promise. 
mana, prana, ormus, the elemental energy that gives that place power, which we know now has a, has a physical component, which we call the ormus elements. And we know actually, by the way, my whole gig and where I'm going with everything is I'm building a spaceship. <laughs> That's where I'm going. And I know it's possible. I know we have all the materials, we have all the technology. I've got on board already Nassim Haramein, Patrick Flanagan, my friend Travis, the guy with the feet. He's taught him 60 years of chemistry. You wouldn't believe what this guy knows or can do. It can be done, and it can be done in a backyard. I know that. So ultimately, what we're learning about Hormus is that that is your coding for your spaceship. Right, Barry? Oh, yeah. That's what you use. It's super light. It completely can block all EMF fields except at its resonant frequency. It's what Mother Nature uses to produce its own spaceships. Power use. Are you literally in a black hole implosion black device? Hole implosion. Yeah, it's an impl- it's, it's cool. Nassim Haramein. Nassim Haramein, does anybody know who he is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Oh. I know his technology inside and out. You know, he comes over. My he lives in Hawaii. He lives down the street, so you know he comes over all the time. That technology is on this Earth right now. We have black hole technology. Meaning he can create a miniature black hole inside a crystal spinning at 20 million RPM magnetic field and it forms a rip in the space-time fabric and all and anything within the range of that that's inside that dome that is grounded, that is the most sophisticated grounding system in the world, by the way, that he has that grounds that device. That, anything that's near there, like water, all of a sudden you get contaminated water, you bring it close to that device, it spins it all up, gets rid of all heavy metals, anything that's heavy in it, it spins it all back into silica, hydrogen, ormus, and sulfur, and carbon. And it propels the, the, the implosion? Well, the impl- any, if you can get something spinning mm-hmm. at 20 million RPM, you have an infinite amount of energy. So you have enough power. Right. You need a kick, you have to, we kickstart it with a biodiesel engine. Yeah. That's the kickstart. <laughs> Right, this is the Victor Schauberger said this. He had, you got to kickstart the thing with some kind of input energy, and then what will happen is if you have the right system design, it will just go on endlessly. Now, if you're spinning something at 20 million RPM, this is what happens actually. This is what the insights that come in from this type of technology. You 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 you're in your own time frequency. The time sense that we are all sharing collectively is based on the black hole that's at the center of the Earth. So we're all in the time clock of the black hole at the center of the Earth. As soon as you have your own black hole, you go off that time clock, you're on another time clock. And what time clock is that? Well, that time clock is dependent on the black hole that you have just created. If you want to sun gaze, for example, anybody do sun gazing around here? Listen to this possibility. You could hover right at the horizon of the Earth indefinitely and sun gaze indefinitely right as the sun is setting. As it sets, you just follow it around, just like that. And all kinds of stuff like that come in. Like, you start realizing, like, whoa, where you can go with that technology. So ultimately, for me, that's where it's all leading. It's the most outrageous goal ever. Build your own spaceship. But you know what? I believe strongly, because I've done it in my life, I'm the, I'm the wealthiest hippie on Earth. I probably am. I'm a total hippie. I run around barefoot. I, I don't wear suits, ties, business meetings. Forget it. I'm not doing any of that. But I've made more money than most anybody's made in their life, and it's because I write the goal down, and it occurs. And if you take enough warmness, what happens, Barry? You manifest what you think? Manifestation. Yeah. You follow me on this? Attention. <laughs> and that's where we're at because the reason why some of us are like, oh God, I got money trouble. The reason is, is because we have not really decided what we want. Right? I decided we're going to put, figure out the quickest way from A to Z on making warmest gold. We figure out a technique takes 45 minutes. Well, once you have your gold taken down with acids, and strip down, and we do a lot of re-precipitation just to break the molecular bonding down, the whole system we have takes 45 minutes. Why did that happen? Because you imagined it? I wrote it down. <laughs> Writing down, yeah, I, sp- I cast a spell. I I'm spelled a- it out. Spell, <laughs> right? It's super powerful. I mean, I'm telling you, if we don't get on that program, because that's an instant technology we all have access to, like, my goal is, like, I take the best Ormus in the world. That's my written goal. I take the best Ormus in the world, written goal. You know what that throws in my reality? It just has him in the back over here throwing a spoon down my mouth. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other stuff going on like that. Okay. So, I think we're probably done. Okay, um, Swan's cool. She, five more minutes? Ten. Okay. Let's jump, let's jump right there to the spiral corn. Spiral corn. Oh, cool.
<laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't know I mean, what like, happened there or how we did that. Wow. I don't know. I, we, that thing got so much vortex water. I mean, people sent me notes. Oh, it's a vortex water. It's a vortex water.